Hello there. Welcome to KMVP Entertainment. In this video, we are going to learn in detail about the atmosphere, the layers of the atmosphere, and interesting facts based on the atmosphere. Make sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you want more interesting content. What is atmosphere and what is it made up of? An atmosphere is a layer or a set of layers of gases surrounding a planet or other material body that is held in place by the gravity of that body. The atmosphere is made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% of other gases. The layers of the atmosphere are the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, the ionosphere, and the exosphere. Now, let's see about the troposphere. The troposphere contains 75% of the atmosphere's total mass. In either space or time, the troposphere is not constant. The troposphere is 10 miles from the equator. The temperature in the troposphere can reach minus 80 degrees Celsius. Troposphere does not contain ozone. Let's get started with the stratosphere. The stratosphere accounts for approximately 24% of the Earth's total atmosphere. The stratosphere contains approximately 19% of the Earth's total atmospheric gases. Ninety percent of the ozone layer is found in the stratosphere's upper crust. The stratosphere can be as deep as 20 miles or as shallow as 5.5 miles. The word stratosphere is derived from the word strato meaning layer and sphere which is earth's shape. Let's see about the mesosphere. The area where the mesosphere transitions into the thermosphere is called the mesopause. A strange type of lightning occurs in the mesosphere. This lightning is referred to as sprites or elves. The mesosphere is located approximately 50 kilometers from the Earth's surface and extends as far as 85 kilometers from the Earth's surface. The word mesosphere is derived from the Greek words mesosphira that literally translates to middle sphere. The mesosphere burns up most meteors and asteroids before they are able to reach the Earth's surface. Now let's see about the thermosphere. The thermosphere lies between the exosphere and the mesosphere. Thermo means heat and the temperature in this layer can reach up to 4500 degrees. This layer of Earth's atmosphere is about 319 miles. That's much thicker than the inner layers of the atmosphere, but not nearly as thick as the exosphere. The thermosphere is home to the International Space Station as it orbits Earth. This is also where you'll find low Earth orbit satellites. There's a lot going on in the thermosphere. Now let's see about the ionosphere. 
The ionosphere is the ionized part of Earth's upper atmosphere from about 60 kilometers to 1,000 kilometers. The ionosphere is ionized by solar radiation. It plays an important role in atmospheric electricity and forms the inner edge of the magnetosphere. The ionosphere is where the Earth's atmosphere meets space. The ionosphere stretches roughly 50 to 400 miles above Earth's surface, right at the edge of space. Now let's see about the exosphere. The exosphere is the highest and top layer of the Earth's atmosphere. It starts at 500 kilometers high and marks the edge of space. There are very few molecules in this layer. This means that it has the lightest atmospheric gases, such as hydrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, and atomic oxygen near the edge. Although the exosphere is the most distant layer of Earth's atmosphere, it is the layer that is the planet's first line of defense against the sun rays. It is also the first layer to come in contact and protect the Earth from meteors and asteroids and cosmic rays. Now let's see some interesting facts on the atmosphere. Oxygen is extremely vital for living organisms now. But did you know that oxygen was the reason for the first extinction on Earth? At that time, the living organisms were anaerobic, meaning they did not require oxygen to survive. Excess of oxygen was toxic to them. When oxygen was produced more, it cleanly wiped out these anaerobic organisms. Earth experienced much worse global warming in the Cambrian period. The emissions of carbon dioxide were 11 times higher. The quaternary ice age eventually cooled down the Earth. Do you know your blood or any other bodily fluid like saliva extra can literally boil at the height of 18,000 meters? It happens because the pressure in the boiling point drops drastically and hence this height is called the Armstrong limit. Therefore, it is necessary to be in a pressurized suit if you ever want to get to that height. The atmosphere holds up to 40 trillion gallons of water. Now that's a lot. It means that it can drown the Earth in one inch of water. Did you ever wonder why some white streaks are seen after some planes move through? It is because the engines release hot, humid water vapor which meets with the cold air in the outside. Now let's see a very interesting question about the atmosphere. Imagine that you're hovering in a helicopter at the same spot for 12 hours straight. Will you reach the other side of the earth? Make sure to drop your answer in the comments. No, you will not. Here is the reason behind this. When you hover in a helicopter, you are hovering in air. This air is moving along with the Earth. In other words, the Earth and the air above it are moving around and around on, uh, on the Earth's axis together. Did you find this video interesting? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned for more videos. We will be back soon.